Girl Gamer Vogue, and I'm here at New York City Comic Con with Siren from Frag Dogs. We're at the Ubisoft booth today, and just wanted to talk to you a little bit about more about Girl Gamers and just because since we're Girl Gamer Vogue, can you tell us a little bit uh, about your history, how you started with video games? Yeah. So I'm Siren, like you said. Um, I've been gaming for forever. I mean, you could say back since the NES days, but when I first started really getting in love and making it a passion, I was back in 2005, and I fell in love with Halo. And that franchise hooked me, pretty much. And I started competing um, with a clan called the PMS Clan. And uh, Valkyrie, who is actually one of the co-leaders of myself for Frag Dolls, started that clan, and that's how I found out about the Frag Dolls. So my competition days were definitely on Halo. I competed in a ton of uh, MLG events, and then I also competed on the WCG circuit in 2008. We placed really high as a team, and I was like, these girls are kick ass. They have everything that I want. They have my dream job, and not only do they have an awesome job, they get to be in the spotlight and really be the voice for female gaming. So that's something that I really wanted to be a part of. Um, I was a little bit shy at first, but since being on the team, I've been with the team for three years now, and. Uh, I'm the one that you gotta stay away from now because I don't shut up and I like to troll people. I'm a huge troll, so just be careful. Okay. I'll be sure to be careful <laughs> when we're online. Um, but you said something about girl gamer representation in the spotlight. Now, I know that Frag Dolls used to get a misconstrued rumor idea that they, they, they weren't living up to being a girl gamer. Has that changed or was that a rumor? Can you tell me a little bit more about that? Yeah. Frag Dolls have been around since 2004, so we've been here for eight years. Um, myself, have been here for three. A lot of the girls that were on the team in the past, you know, have moved on, gotten real great, awesome jobs. A lot of them are still in the industry. And what it is, you know, those rumors, it's, it's sad because we are a representation of being in that spotlight for all female gamers. But there's tons, you know, over 40% of gamers out there are females. And I think the biggest thing is, back in the days, we competed and we've grown since then into not just comp like a competition team, but we've also grown into you know, we like to stream, we like to still compete, which we kick ass. Um, and along with all of that, we like to really be a role model. And that stereotype kind of sucks because when you come to events like these, you get a lot of booth babes and you get, you know, the candy, the eye, you know, you want to look at. And I mean, a lot of the fractals on the team, definitely gorgeous women, but you know, every girl is gorgeous in their own way. And one of the biggest things that I like is that we actually know what we're talking about. So if you're gonna come to the Ubisoft booth, not only do we know our games inside and out, but we know other publisher games inside and out, and that's because we are gamers. You know, I spend, God, I used to spend 40 plus hours gaming, and now that I actually have to work and do this at the same time, um, you know, I'm. that's all that I live, breathe, eat. That's all we do. We go to events, we game, at home we game. So it's, I mean, we are the true, true gamers. So, I mean, the stereotype, you can have it, but it, it, it doesn't exist with us. Is um, Fragdale's hiring by any chance? I'd love to do that for a living as well. <laughs> We, we, uh, we actually just hired, so we held a casting call, and it, it was you know a process. We had tons and tons of hundreds of applications that came in. We went through them one by one, gave every girl the same eye that we looked at, and we narrowed it down to a top ten, and we brought all those girls to us with packs. So at packs, we were able to see how they were on camera, how well they can demo games to people, and if, to see if they were true, you know, true gamers, because you can say you're a gamer and then throw you up on any games, like, can you really do it? So we put them through a, a pretty rigorous process. And then we actually hired two. So we have Esper and Days. They're actually here at New York Comic Con. So hopefully you guys can go see them. And uh, this is their first event as Frag Dolls. So hopefully you guys can go find them. Yeah, definitely. And um, when, you, when, it talks, when you're talking about girl gamer representation, and I mean, seeing you guys at Comic Con, this is amazing. This is like a, a great event. Um, what else are you doing? I know you guys compete in MLG, but are you doing any community kind of like partnerships or representations of girl gaming, like seminars and panels? We do. Um, we've done panels throughout the past. One of our biggest things that we're working on right now is our charity, Extra Life. I don't know if you guys heard of that. It's a huge charity that was actually coming up soon on October 20th. So it's a 24-hour live stream that we're going to be hosting, trying to get as many donations as we can for the Children's Miracle Network. We're going to get that money. We're going to take all your money. We're going to give it back to the kids by playing video games. I mean, it's, it's what we love to do. Well, that's fantastic. Thank you so much for your time. And um, tune in for more of Girl Gamer Vogue here at Comic-Con. Nars out. Hi, I'm Nars from Girl Gamer Vogue, and I'm here with the lovely OG of all the Frag Dolls. Tell me a little bit about yourself. Hi, I'm Valkyrie of the Frag Dolls. I have been with the team for about eight years now. Um, I started a clan of female girls called PMS Clan way back in the day, a decade ago. And Ubisoft, when they put their call out to put team, they wanted legitimate hardcore gamers. I was all about Ubisoft games, playing Rainbow Six at the time, so 
I jumped right on that and I haven't looked back since. Oh, great, thank you. And so um, a little bit about being a girl gamer, because I know there is a negative connotation whenever anyone, any female says, oh, I'm a girl gamer. What are some things you're doing to combat that, especially as a frag doll member? Well, I think all of us have different views on like the girl gamer card, um, especially amongst the team. You'll actually find different points of view. My point of view is, as a minority, it's very important that we're always promoting ourselves, always out there, go with the girl power. As a minority, I think that it's important because if people don't know we're out there doing our thing and kicking butt, that you know um, we're not helping anything. So I'm always the I want to. I want everyone to know I'm a girl. I want everyone to know that a girl's kicking their butt, especially the guys talking all the trash online. So I'm about that. Well, other ones are just like, eh, I'm just a gamer. So. And is there anything you're doing outside MLG or outside Comic Con that are helping kind of promote a positive representation of girl gamers? Well, of course. I mean, we've I've worked for it eight years. The girl gaming is my priority. Like, if you look at the team, I'm probably the most hardcore about um, representing females and trying to do that in a positive light. I've done a lot of different things from starting the clan, which is thousands of women. It gives them a home uh, to come play in a safe environment where they're not so much trash talked with girls of all different skill levels, you know, just coming together. Um, and celebrating that. I've also, um, I represented on WCG Ultimate Gamer. I was on season one of that reality show and I think I represented females very well. I made sure that to tone down drama, I don't really like the drama, although I know the drama makes good TV. <laughs> But I thought I did really well. I was the last female standing. I made every episode right with the guys, and I easily could have won it. If, uh, um, I've done all kinds of things uh, for Ubisoft as well as just for the gaming community overall. I've done blogs on how to get your girl into gaming. You know, I do all kinds of how-tos and things and try to do that. Now, I know for a lot of uh, viewers out there, they're always asking, well, how do I combat? stereotypes? How do I comment these insults? What's the best mechanism you would recommend? Well, first of all, I just had everyone has to understand you, you can't really combat them. I mean, all you can do is educate, try to represent positively, you know, kicking guys' butts, you know, that's always a good thing. But the fact of the matter is, is when we are um, online playing, they're just looking for anything to hit you with. So be you a guy, be it a girl, you know, they're going to try to trash talk you in whatever way they can. It just so happens as a female, it's always our sex right away. So, I mean, it's just the cliche thing they go for. They instantly have something to go. So first of all, try not to take it too personally. Second of all, just kick their ass. You heard it from Valkyrie herself. Be yourself. This is Nars from GG Vogue. We're out. Okay. Hi, guys. It's Nars from Girl Gamer Vogue, and I'm here with the lovely... The wonderful Sabri from Frag Dogs. Tell me a little bit about yourself, Sabri, and your history with video games. Oh my gosh, well I started playing video games when I was very young. My parents opened a retail uh, game store with board games and card games and tabletop games. So my history is really with like person to person, you know, uh, games for tabletop. Um, and then as video game consoles came out and PC games came out, as I grew up, I got into those too. So I was always, every day after school, I would go to my parents' store and play games against like older guys. Like that was all I played against. So I got really good at like PC shooters and stuff. And then as it just evolved over time, like in high school, you know, I really was a super nerd. <laughs> and then in college, I was like, I need to focus on studies. And then after college, I was like, you know, I've heard about the frag dolls for so many years and it's just something that I couldn't ignore anymore. It's a goal that I wanted. I wanted to be a frag doll. So I finally joined the cadet program with the Frag Dolls, and here I am as a Frag Doll. <laughs> Congratulations, this is awesome. How long have you been a Frag Doll member? About a year. So not very long, I'm still a newbie, um, but it's been such a wild ride. So crazy, I love it. Great, and um, you, since, I know that since you've been here for a year, do you feel like you've gotten any sort of, um, not necessarily hate, but has anyone said that, oh, you're not a real girl gamer, or has um, diminished the representation that girl, like frag dolls especially, are trying to portray in the gaming community? Um, that's, there's a lot of answers to that question, actually. <laughs> but in terms of people saying that you're not a, a real gamer if you're a girl and all that stuff, that happens regardless. I mean, you're always going to find people that say things like that. Um, and you either just have to ignore it or you have to say, all right, well, if you don't feel that, or if you feel that way, then let's pick a game. Let's go, you know, and kind of just show them that for real, I am a gamer and I'm passionate about it. And just because I'm a girl doesn't mean that you should judge me differently for that. Um, and then in terms of being a frag doll, our team has evolved so much over the years. You know, we started off as a very competitive team and then we had to transition because we are sponsored and work for Ubisoft. So when they don't have competitive titles, if they start doing other fun games, you know, but there's nothing in the pro circuit, then we had to kind of change our model to be more, well, let's do advertising for them and let's get people interested, and, you know, and let's focus on getting girl gamers in the industry. And, and we stopped 
competing so much. And now we're just getting back into competition mode. So we're kind of a hybrid now of like we do marketing, we try and get girls into, into the gaming industry, casual competitive gaming and working in the industry, you know, and then we're also um, doing the competitive stuff again. So so it's evolved over time and I think that if people don't don't look at our history, it's hard to see. They'll come in at one spot and they'll say, oh, they're just doing marketing, well then screw that, you know, but you have to kind of look at it as a big picture. You know, everything evolves and you have to evolve if you're going to survive. So. So I guess we maybe get a little bit of heat from that, but but overall it's been good. If people just come and talk to us and get to know us, usually we're able to dispel any of the preconceived notions that they have. So overall I think it's been good. Yeah, you just seem like a pretty chill, real girl to me. I mean, it's just like, yeah. <laughs> so for all the girls that are out there, most of them feel kind of um, like whenever they get hit with criticism, especially with the you know, Xbox Live, they get these hateful messages what sort of inspiration would you tell them to like continue playing and continue gaming? Um, I think the best way to combat that is actually to find a community. Um, you know, I, there's, I mean, there's our community, the Fry Doll community. We're very open and welcoming. We have our own cadet program. So if you actually want to come to events and work with us, you know, apply for that and we'll take you through. We'll teach you all about social media and, you know, all this stuff, you know, in the gaming industry. Um, but there's also the PMS clan. That's all gamers, girls around the world. Um, so it's a huge clan. You know, if you just type in girl gamers and then ignore all the bad stuff, you actually find the communities and the clans that you can join. You know, just find a group of friends that you can game with and it'll be a blast. You know, and ignore all the haters. Don't play with randoms. You know, just find your, your friends, find your, your base and it'll be good. So just stick with it. Stick with it. Thank you so much for that um, and definitely check out more Fragdolls. Um, where are some places that we can check out your um, Fragdolls website? Uh, we're at fragdolls.com. We're also on Facebook, facebook.com slash fragdolls. We're on Twitter, at fragdolls. Um, and then our whole team has all of the stuff as well. We're on YouTube as well. We have a fragdolls channel, so we post videos up there all the time. So we're constantly trying to do stuff. We're all over. Just search for fragdolls and you'll find us. Okay. So thank you so much. This is Nars from ggvogue.com. On the Comic-Con floor, continue to keep seeing some coverage from Comic-Con 2012.